Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas. I am the Radio Man 03, and you can bet it's awesome to have you along. We are headed south to D6, which should be the Western Tropics. This will be warmer down there. We've got ships of the damned off to the left just started to spawn in, but we're going to be just fine. We should be just fine. As long as they don't uh, turn this away, we should be good. I'm definitely turning away from them right now, working on it anyways. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty big ship. It's working. There we go. We're good. We're good. All right. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. A little extra time to record today. As mentioned last episode, we will be going to D6 in today's episode. I do want to go down there, see if we can find SAP, number one. And then what other kinds of S different resources that we can gather up that we can bring back because we want to start getting into, I'd kind of like to get to right to the journeyman stuff if we could. I may have to learn a little something in the old tree to get that done, but I think I've got the points to do it. I have not looked at my points. I'm not going to do it right now either. We're just sailing right along here. Um, but we are going to go down there and take a look and see. Uh, is, it, is it the first island we come across? Is it, is it good for elephants? Is it good for giraffes? Um, also, we want to look for, of course, the sap. We need different kinds of wood. We need different thatch, different fiber, uh, and different uh, metal. We definitely need a different metal is what we need for sure. I wonder if I can get this guy. A long one. Oh, too late. Too late. You know, sometimes I miss. Sometimes you miss. There, there for a while though. I was, I was down, man. I could just roll right past him and just grab him as I went by. It'll come back. I've missed quite a few lately, though. I'm throwing a little too late. Uh, I'm Ronan Condor, and I, th I guess I think he's stronger than he actually is. But anyways, I'm going to keep going south. We don't have too far to go on the map right there, and we're just pretty much going to go. Well, we need to go a little more to the southeast, so I'm going to have to turn a little bit more here uh, to get us to where we need to be on track here. I think that's better. Yeah, I'm going to go southeast for a little bit, and then we're going to cross the border into D6, and then we'll see where we're going to go from there. I'll be back. <coughs> We have made it into the Western Tropics, I do believe. Temperate open water. It still says temperate, uh, but the water has definitely changed color. It's got a little more of a turquoise color to it now. So we're definitely in a warmer area, which is nice. Um, I'm going to go to that island right there. I believe that's the one I was looking at at the very beginning. I, I figured, yeah, it was just... There are several in this tile, of course. But I think I'm going to hit this one up first. And then we'll just kind of make our way around and see what we run into today. I did make something for the ship. I'm going to add a... I did get a flotsam too, by the way. Uh, a common ship cargo rack. I'm going to put that on here so that we can store extra things on here. It's going to weigh less overall inside that cargo container. And then hopefully we can get, you know, a decent supply of it back home. So we could take advantage of some of these more advanced uh, things. I'm mostly interested right now in the clothing, the weapons, and the tools. That's what is going to help me progress forward. That's what I'm most interested in at the moment. So I'd like to be able to do that. So we need two and three different kinds of each thing in order to do that. So that's kind of my goal is to go out here every now and again and do some of this and get a bunch of that stuff, bring it back, so we can, you know, take advantage of these blueprints that we're finding. So I'll be back when we get to the island, and we'll see where we're at and what's going to happen, and uh, we'll go from there. We have arrived. We have elephants, and I see a crocodile as well. Uh, we'll see what we have for sap. It says I'm really sweltering hot right now. That is interesting. Let's see if we can take all that stuff right there and put that on. That's where I start taking damage. Fortunately, we've got what's his name on our back here, so we should be pretty good. Uh, yeah, now I'm just hot. Okay, so we're gonna just have to go with the cloth armor because this is definitely a hotter climate. So let's go ahead and finish out our ensemble downstairs because we've got tons of these this clothing down here. Uh, it should be right in here, I believe. We needed uh, what do we need anyways? Uh, just the hat and the hands. Okay. Uh, hat and hands. See, this is the stuff I want to get our stuff. It'll all be dyed. It'll be our stuff. And then when we go to these different areas, we could just grab it and put it on. And if we have the better stuff, of course, it's going to work better for us in the long run. 
I'm hot, but I'm not taking damage, which is the main thing here. Uh, okay, put that stuff away. Oh, you know what? I've got, uh, I've got stuff I took off that flotsam. What was that crate worth? 13 gold, a purple crate, 13 gold. Uh, journeyman stone floor. I don't see myself ever doing this because I don't see myself ever becoming under attack to the point where I wouldn't be able to handle it. Maybe there, someday down the road that'll be a thing and we will get attacked, but until then, uh, I'm okay. Now this apparently slows your um, speed up by 10%. Uh, I, I don't know. But we're going to put one on the ship because it is just, it's, it's definitely a, ne a necessity right now, I think. Uh, looks like right there is going to have to be the place for it. And then, yeah, you've got quite a bit of inventory. And what you put in here weighs much, much less than what it normally would. Uh, so I think we're good. Everyone's happy. We're fed. We're watered. Let's go ahead and fill up our water container one more time. Uh, I guess I better use it first. Uh, number nine. I'm nervous. I'm getting ready to jump onto an island I've never been to before. I have no idea what we're going to encounter on here, but, uh, you know, here we go. We've got elephants, though. That's a cool thing. So we know we can come down here and get an elephant when we want to get an elephant. There's a pirate encampment right over there. Level 7.5 pirates on this island. So it's a pretty good size island. Not brawn ain't. Common treasure map for D6. Oh, really? Did we get so lucky? <laughs> That'd be crazy, huh? Let's see. Uh, no, inventory. If we put this down here, will it show up? Just looking real quick before I even check the map. Alright, let's uh, take a look at it and see. Uh, that is definitely not the island we're on. You can see the Forsaken fell behind on the map. It's not where it's supposed to be. It's uh, way up there. So I need to take a look at this and make sure I know exactly where I'm at on the map so I'm not running around and getting lost. Uh, it looks like a very small island for sure, but this is not the island that we are looking for at all. No. Okay, so no. Uh, 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 there we go. Number seven. Let's go to our inventory. We can just go ahead and drop this back in here. All right, and then let's grab Delilah as well. Can I reach her from here? I think I can. Let's get our spyglass out too. We should have that automatically. Uh, Angry Mary and Delilah. There we go. Uh, Bluto does have his uh, larger crate on there, just in case we have to put one of those on. She's trying to get off the ship. She's making it. Here she comes. There we go. Perfect. Good job. So what do we have on here? Look at these elephants. This is nice. We could put a trap right here and catch one. There's a 20. There's a 12. I'd take that 20 if I had to. There's a 33. That's perfect. Thing is, they gang up. So once we got like this one right here, this big one, inside the pen, we would definitely want to kill the other two or somehow get the other two killed. I bet we could kill those guys off pretty fast with Bluto and uh, Delilah here and have just the 33 left. So there is that. This is a great spot to be able to do something like that too. Okay, so we got turtles. Let's see what our rocks are on the island. And what is this plant? Matter of fact, let's go ahead and have... Um... Oh. Come here, Bluto. Let's have Delilah follow Bluto. We'll ride Budo. That way we can check some of these plants and see what they are. Hello, sir. Cilantro and hemp. Okay, so we already have that fiber. But we don't have cilantro. Let's try a little bit of this. Uh, Achaea berries. Okay, we, don't have, we haven't had those for a while. He's definitely got some food on him, so that's a good thing. But the hemp, yeah, the fiber is the same. That is unfortunate right there. Unless there's a different kind somewhere on the island here. We'll see. What we really want is the sap. We'll take a little ride through here and see if maybe we'll get lucky. There's a sugarcane field or something over here. That would be wonderful. I love how open this beach is. It's really nice. That's what I've always liked about this uh, 
this region too. And the coconuts, you, you guys have said uh, the wheat is their favorite food, the elephant. But you guys have said you've gotten pretty good results with the coconuts too. So it looks like we've got coconuts on the island that we can pick up. Oh my god, there's so many elephants here. Let's go kill a crocodile. We've never done that before. What's what's it like to kill a crocodile? He's chasing something into the woods, into the jungle. Um, we're going to have to go back in here a little bit to find about the uh, the sugar cane. This island is kind of a little bit desolate, kind of more rocky than anything it seems like. I'm kind of curious to see if this is going to get into a fight with this elephant over here. This big old crocodile here. I'm willing to bet I could be seen in the encampment too. So there it goes. It's it's getting through. Okay, it's coming after me. Maybe. It's trying to. It's not even looking at me. Oh, that is cool looking, huh? Oh, that's weird. I took a swing at him. Look at him hanging out in the water there. That is awesome. He's totally on that that bird now. He saw that seagull. Oh, that is really cool. Um, God, I guess I won't kill him if he doesn't want to pick a fight with me. He didn't seem interested to me at all. I bet if I got off my... Uh, Bluto here, I bet he'd be interested in me. What do we got here? Limestone and radial all right. Okay, so that's the same thing we've got there, except for the limestone. That's different. What is this big rock right here? Cobalt. Uh-huh. So we've got some cobalt on this island. Now, do we have cobalt nodes on the island? I was really expecting that crocodile to come after me. Maybe he doesn't care because I'm on a bear. Okay, so again, H. Cobalt. All right, so the cobalt is the metal, which is good news, but do we have cobalt nodes? That's what I'm wondering about. A lot of the islands that I've been to, it's, granted, it's not, you know, a ton of islands, but the ones I have been to seem to have the cobalt or the ores even right on shore sometimes. They're very close. Uh, we need a number one. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and drop uh, that right there. We'll take a little. We'll take a little bit of that right there. We'll just drop it on him. What I'd love to see is actual nodes of it. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of the same rock. We've got this tan one here, and we've got that one right there. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Let's go! Let's go kill him! I'm really curious to what is going to happen here. He's running away. Really? Wow, he didn't even take a swing at me. What did you get off of him? Uh, carotenoid. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, hide. There's a new resource. Uh, and then, of course, that's garbage. And you can eat that if you want to. All right, so let's grab that and that. We'll stick that on here. Not a whole lot of it. I probably maybe could have gotten more if I had done uh, the grabbing of the material, but that's okay. And then what do we have for wood on the island here, too? Looks like the sun's getting ready to go down. We have reeds and light wood. Oh, man. I think it's wet wood. That, yeah, it's wet wood that we have on our island. I believe we have two kinds. Uh, here's strong wood. Okay, so now we have three different kinds of wood. So anything we need to make with three different kinds of wood, we can have that. So what I will probably do is I will put a cart on Bluto. The sun is getting ready to go down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up on a little bit of this. Uh, this stuff. Part of me thinks maybe what I should do is actually go to the next island and see if I can find what it is I'm actually looking for. 
the number one thing, again, is sap. I get distracted with all these other things because, well, they're all important to us. They really are. Uh, but I really need to find that sap so we can get the organic paste going uh, on a regular basis. Is uh, I wonder, is there anything I can grow uh, farm-wise? Because that, of course, would be a very interesting farm for me to want to have, is something like that. That would be perfect, is to grow something that would give me sap. Anyways, let me know on that question. I'm going to get things kind of going here, and then uh, I'll come back when we're either moving on to another island, or I find what it is I am looking for. Welcome back. I went ahead and put up an elephant pen. I thought, why the heck not, right? Ooh, is this one on our our grid? It's a stormy day. Just started raining, which is actually pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, let's go to our map. Check number seven here. No, that's the same island as the other one. Matter of fact, both of these maps go to the same exact thing. Yeah, the same exact spot. Um, so, yeah, just a, a quick little trap. Nothing fancy, just like the last one we did. The idea is we've only got the two sides. I've got Bluto here on passive. We're going to want to kill off the elephants we don't want, which could be... If I get them all after me, I'm going to be in some big trouble. This guy here, though, is nice, and uh, I want to try the trap out as well. Let's see if he'll actually come in here. This might not be big enough for him. Is he not mad anymore? It did not last very long. Boop. Right in the butt. Right in the butt, docks. I want you to come this way, buddy. I'll let you hit me once. There we go. Alright. Okay, he causes a little bit of damage. Now, I'm kind of curious. Can I knock him? Wow. That's a big animal. <laughs> that is a big animal. I should probably have... Let's see. Can I... Sh if I shoot it... Is that too much, or is that going to be enough? It's okay if it dies. We know we can get one in a trap now, so that's a good thing. Let's see what happens if I shoot it. I've got bolas on me. Oh my god, it didn't do anything to it. I definitely want to get this guy killed. I need my crossbow back. I should keep my crossbow on me. It may still be on me, actually. Is the crossbow on me? No, I left it in the... I think I left it in the chest inside. I'm curious. I left the corners open. I want to know if... She's going to do the, 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 the head thing that they do. I'm kind of curious. Number six. She is... Where do you have to be to feed? We eat fruits, vegetables. Oh, so the, uh, the oh, this O slot here doesn't count. Okay, so I can do this. I get up in there and feed. It's telling me I don't have the right food in here, so that's kind of interesting. Um, so we'll have to get some kind of different... I'm going to use the coconuts, which I planned on using. Let's go ahead and go ahead and kill it. We know we can get it in here now. Before another elephant gets over here and sees what's going on and says, Hey, what do you think you're doing to that woman, female elephant? Okay, so let's see what we get off of this, too, for hide. Is it just, it's leather. Okay, so we're going to get leather off of this. Okay, this is nice. I think what we'll do this time is shoot one and bring it over and just have... Uh, uh, Bluto and Delilah there to to do it to, to take care of it. Let's see what do we got for damage on this. Nine thousand eight seventy two. Yeah. Okay. So not doing a whole lot of damage. 
to it. We could definitely get an elephant in here and get it tamed up. So let's grab Delilah. Uh, this is what I did all night. I did this all night long. And number... Well, let's see. Hold on. Hold on. We got to make sure we have our stuff with us. Uh, this ladder acts weird right here. It does not... He just doesn't grab right. He's not grabbing right. Um, we got parrots all over the place. What do I have in here that I don't need? Oh, what's that? That's some kind of an elephant type meat. What is that? Marrow. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. That's a new one. Uh, vegetables. Okay, so I had some coconuts. We found some coconuts. We'll have to get some more of those. Let's go downstairs. Where did I put my crossbow? Is it in my inventory? I just It is in my inventory. Okay, beautiful. All right, we want that first. We're going to drop this stuff off into here. Like so. Uh, we don't need the berries. We're going to drop that in there, too. The berries can go back upstairs. We're going to get some coconuts to use on these guys. We got a parrot actually trapped underneath the second... Uh, just below deck. There's a parrot trapped below deck. It'd be easy for me to hit it and bola it and we have a level one parrot but it's just a level one parrot so I wasn't really gonna bother with it okay so um, I could put this map back as well while we're down here we'll probably hit this map up if I do tame an elephant I will leave it here on shore and it should be I would think okay it's an elephant if I leave it on aggressive stance it should be okay uh, let's get our wonderful Delilah onto shore We've got Bluto. Bluto's going to have to be on attack your target. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, attack your target. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can pull another elephant out of here, out of the mix. Which one do we want and which ones don't we want? There was one that was a 31 female, and I thought we saw one that was another. Uh, let's take a look and see. A 33 or something. There's a 20. Okay, the 20 was over here when I was building this trap, and now it's way over there. There's the female 31. What's this guy over here? Level 12. I only see three elephants. Look, there's another one right, right down there. Level 13 female. Okay, so we want her. We want that one right there. So let's go ahead and give her a crossbow to the butt and get her down this way before she bumps into any more other elephants. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous about this. Oh, wait, I have to get the coconuts. Um, dang it, I forgot about the coconuts. I should be on Pluto. Here we go. Give me the coconuts. Here's some more. Taming speed's still on five. I'm going to see what it's like with an elephant. It is kind of nice not having the taming process last quite so long because it, it does take up some time, especially if they don't land quite right. What do I have for uh, coconuts now? I have 37 coconuts. I think that's going to be enough. So we're going to grab this gal right here, this beautiful gal. Look at her. She is She is sexy. I like her. She's good looking. She's good looking elephant. Um, it might. I don't know how fast. Okay, I've got these guys set on what you call it too. I need to get these guys unset to attack my target. Put them on passive for now, since we don't have to really worry about the other turtle or turtles, the other elephants in the area. I think I'm okay with putting these guys on passive. Uh, behavior and passive. There we go. Uh, where is behavior? There we go. And passive. Passive, it says. Passive. Passive. Okay, beautiful. Alright, so there's our elephant. That's the one we want. We're going to have to come down the beach here a little bit and run. Hopefully, I, I'm not quite sure just how fast these guys are. 
Oh, we got her. Reload. Okay, she's a coming. Let's give her another one just to keep her keep her heading this way. There we go. All right, beautiful. All right. That's nice. She's coming up on this side of the trap as well. Come on, sweetheart. Oh boy, this, this could hurt really bad. Oh boy, hello, darling. Hello. You can do it. You're gonna do it. You're gonna come up and over the top. And get inside here. Oh, beautiful. Look at you. You're such a good elephant. Oh, this might work better than the other thing did. Reload. I think it's going to gain health back just as fast as it takes me to take these things out. So I need to go back to the bow and arrow. I think it's going to work better. I'm going to wait a little bit. This, of course, we're losing effectiveness. She's very angry. She's causing twice as much damage as the last one did. There we go. And let's go ahead and get her knocked out. Maybe we'll get lucky and it won't take too many coconuts to do this. Headshots hopefully will cause more damage. You guys have said that's the case. Oh, she's mighty. Holy cow, that's a huge animal. Okay, she's not freaking out. Sneak in. There we go. There we go. What do we get off of that? 15%. Okay, we're going to be able to feed her several times this first try here. It may be that we're going to have to take her. I wish I had wheat because it would be just ideal, but... We may have to take these guys home, uh, Bluto and Delilah home, and come back and try to pick her up. I have no idea how much she's going to weigh. We'll try her out on the ship and see what happens uh, without Bluto and Delilah on there. She's at 45%. It feels a little fast to me at level 5. I'm, I think I am going to drop it down to uh, taming speed of 3. We'll try that out. Uh, this is also to find a, a nice, comfortable level of play for somebody uh, that can play for a few hours a day you know to make a video this is what it's about can I progress and feel like I'm progressing in the game fast enough for you guys as well as you know for me to experience new things and have fun uh, she's going to be up in just a second we need to back away from her Not enough, okay. Sure would like to get her in the same spot. Too much health still, huh? I don't want to get up underneath there. Okay, there she is. There we go. Run over that way. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm getting it. It's it's in between. You can barely make it out, but it's there. Five seconds. Four. Three. And I can feed. Just spam the E. Just spam E. Have the food in your O slot. Uh, I think we've almost got her. We're getting really lucky here. There we go. Uh, 
Beatrice. No, I'm always I'm always using the B the B names. Let's go. Um, I was gonna go Brenda. <laughs> um, how about Velma? Unless something better comes in, this is Velma. Danger, yeah, Velma, Velma. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of tear down stuff. Which is fine. We've got an elephant now, so this is great. No, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's go ahead and put the rest of the coconuts on her. Now, she's supposed to help me get wood, which is great. You know, we're going to gather wood with her, and she's going to be just fantastic at it and be super good, super great. Oh, and just as the sun's getting ready to go down, too, huh? I can't get up to it, darling. Hold on a second. We need a tier 3 saddle for her, which I don't know if I can make that in the the smithy in the... You know what? We might be able to. We just might be able to. Can you get out of there, darling? You are so pretty. Velma? Can you come out? Oh, look how pretty you are. You're amazing. Look at this, guys. Okay, hold on. Let's get the behavior set. That's, I hate leaving my animals um, vulnerable. I just hate it. Uh, behavior. I'd rather they all go nuts and survive than not go nuts and die. Let's grab you, Bluto. We got ourselves a nice big old elephant now, which is fantastic. Okay, and you're following me, huh? Do we dare bring her on the ship to see what happens? Uh, give me one second, my phone's going off. Welcome back. It's been a couple hours since the last time I could record. I'm actually at the end of my day. Uh, I did try a few things out. I cannot seem to get Velma onto the ship. Now, I did use her and I went out and got some wood and stuff like that. We actually traveled down the beach a little bit down here. Uh, saw nothing unusual or different uh, on that side of the island. It doesn't go very far that way. If we head to the east, we can get around this first ridge and then go down the beach on there. There was just not much there. I think most of what we're going to be looking for would probably be down the middle here. But irregardless, I'm trying to think right now, is okay, how am I going to get this wonderful elephant home? Because I cannot ask her to get on to the Forsaken. As a matter of fact, I could not ask any of these guys to get on the Forsaken anymore. Um, let's go with... She's got 568. Let's give her some... Sure, we'll do melee damage right now. Wow, look at that. That's pretty awesome. Um... So I couldn't tell any of them to get back on the schooner, and I'm not sure, the Forsaken, I'm not sure if it's because we've got this uh, cargo rack here or what it might be, but none of the animals wanted to get back up onto the ship uh, by just, you know, holding down E and telling them to get on the Forsaken. I had to bring these two on uh, by whistling them, and they would come in. Now, I've tried whistling her on the ship as well, and without them on here, and she would just come up to the edge here and stand and then try to push in. So I'm not sure. You guys let me know. Have you transported elephants? Is the schooner a big enough ship? Is this possibly in the way? If I got rid of this right here, take these guys home, get rid of this thing right here, I think maybe I could get her on right up in here. Right now we're at 7,245 out of 11,000 pounds. Um... Yeah, I don't know that we're... If she got on here, I think it'd be too heavy to begin with. So I'm wondering, what I want to do is I'm going to take these guys back home. We do have a bunch of resources in the chest. Not a ton, but some. We do have a little bit in here. Uh, take this all back, drop them off, come back here with the ship. If I need to, uh, I'm going to take that off, of course. And then I would take these down here, too, and take these off. And maybe even seal this off just to have a larger space for her to stand on. And I'm wondering, that might work. Is the schooner too small? Do I have to wait till I get a brigantine, come back and get her then? 
another thing, uh, another option I thought of was maybe I have to build some sort of a ramp like that off the edge of the ship, walk her up it in order to get her on here. So you guys let me know, does anybody out there watching have experience with getting elephants on a ship? Let me know. That's going to have to wrap up today's episode again. Like I said, I'm going to have to take these guys back home, drop them off, and by the time that happens, I should have some response from you guys as to what we can do. Uh, hopefully to get Velma back to the base because she would be fantastic to have there. Just fantastic. Would I love her to be there for the building of the Brigantine? Yeah, that would be nice. But I don't know that that's going to be in the cards. I can't get her on this ship at the moment. So that's the plan. Let me know if I'm crazy for it or if it's going to work or if you just don't know. I mean, I mean, that's, that's all possibilities. I have her sitting there on uh, Attack Your Target, so she should be good to go to protect herself she's got food on her and everything else so we should be able to leave her here and then come back for her later but yeah again that's gonna have to wrap up today's episode hope you enjoyed it if you did do hit that like button for me comment subscribe and share on the radio man zero three have an awesome fantastic and a superb day and i look forward to talking to you again next time